Stu Cohen, Canadiens Andrew Shaw reflects on concussions, marriage. This was a difficult summer for the Canadiens Andrew Shaw. Shaw missed the Canadiens' final game last season when they were eliminated in Game 6 of a first-round playoff series with the New York Rangers because of a concussion. Shaw likely suffered the concussion during Game 1 after hitting Rangers defenseman Brady Skjir on a forechick and their heads collided. Shaw didn't feel right afterward, but didn't tell anyone on the Canadiens' medical staff. He wanted to play. Shaw first opened up about how he tried to conceal the injury that would eventually sideline him after playing four more games during an interview with Sportsnet's Eric Engels this month. Shaw was sidelined after that interview at training camp with what the Canadiens say is a neck injury, but returned to the lineup for a pre-season game Wednesday night in Quebec City against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Shaw insisted Wednesday that the neck injury was not related to the concussion. Shaw told Engels that after suffering his second concussion of the season against the Rangers in mid-April he didn't feel good again until mid-July. The first concussion came last the 12th of December after a crunching hit from the Boston Bruins' Tory Krug that sidelined Shaw until the 14th of January. Shaw told Engels that after the season ended he wasn't sleeping right and that his emotions were all out of whack as he would be angry, sad, irritated and also suffered from anxiety. It was difficult, but ended great Shaw said after practice Wednesday morning in Brassard about his summer. I ended up getting married, to long-time girlfriend shown at Boularis on the 12th of August, so that was a happy time there. But end of the season, it was tough. I travelled a little bit to try and get my mind off everything. That was fun. But again, it was tough. When asked why he decided to open up earlier at training camp about trying to hide his concussion and what he went through during the summer, Shaw said, I think it's something I needed to do myself. Me being competitive and a hockey player, like the rest of us, we always want to play, we always want to help our team. Hiding that stuff isn't good. I think me being a tough guy. I think it's good to hear guys in my role kind of step up and talk about how we are feeling. Hopefully Shaw's story will encourage other NHL players to be open and honest with medical staffs about how they are feeling after suffering a concussion instead of trying to hide it so they can keep playing. Nobody in the NHL has questioned Shaw's toughness and I don't suspect anybody will now, either. Shaw said he will definitely be more open and honest with the medical staff in the future. For sure he said. I'm obviously going to have that competitive edge in me always. I'm always going to want to play. It's obviously tough to come forward and say stuff like that. But I've learned from it. I got a wife, we want to have kids together. There's a lot more to life than hockey, so you've got to think about that in the long run. We're all hockey players, we're all competitive, we all want to play he added. Especially come playoff time, that's the time you want to shine, you want to help the team as best you can. It's tough to come forward, but when people around you start noticing that you're not yourself then that's a big sign. Last season was Shaw's first with the Canadiens after being acquired from the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for two second round picks at the 2016 NHL Draft. The Blackhawks used those picks to select Boston University defenseman Chad Kryas and Alex DeBrincat, a 5'7", 165-pound right winger who led the Erie Otters to the All Championship last season after leading the league in regular season scoring with 6'5", 6'2", 127 totals in 63 games. Shortly after the trade, Canadiens GM Mark Bergevin signed Shaw, who turned 26 last month, to a six-year, $23.4 million contract, looking to add leadership, grit and playoff experience to the lineup after the forward won two Stanley Cups with the Black Hawks. 
Shaw finished the season with 1-2-1-7-2-9 totals in 68 regular season games and was pointless in five playoff games with the Canadiens. The concussions obviously didn't help. Hopefully, this year's going to be better said Shaw, who has made a new home with his wife on Montreal South Shore, near the Canadiens' practice rink. You've got to be positive. I made a lot of new friends. I made this city my home. It was different coming in, new team, new coach, couple of new coaches. So it was difficult that way. And then getting injured was also just something on top of it. But I've got my feet under me now and ready to go.